Hi, Andy. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll be right down. Okay, bye. Tuesday morning, um, 6.45, which actually is actually a night in for us, we usually get a to have at 5.45, um, just leaving our flat, I'm say good morning Joe, good morning, did you have a good night's sleep? No I did not! What are your, um, what dreams? In dreams? Sort of mixture of mixture of stuff. Yep. Um what? Any sort of sexual shit? Um I did actually, yeah, I was I had really to, I, dirty, yeah. I had a, yeah, yeah. I had like a dream within a dream. But the dream within a dream was like a sex dream and then the the dream was me telling people about the sex about dream. The sex dream. Oh! <laughs> James, no, he's being all cool about it. When you mean you're going out of her, you're just going to keep calling her. James, explain the situation. So you, you basically started chatting to I can't a an artist. I can't because they're on set. Surely not going on the high. Oh, what? Because you're going because you're in a relationship with Noah, though. No, and she'll see the extras on the DVD. No, because because when they see this, there's yeah. going to be a lot of supporting artists that think I'm talking about them. <laughs> oh, they're all going to be at home yeah. freaking themselves off. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping that they're back this chosen girl. I think I'm like the um the you know when things have like a hero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Say Tom Cruise from Top Gun. And like they're yeah. really sort of James sort Bond. of sexy. Yeah, yeah. Kind yeah. of violent but in a sexy way. Yeah. It's kind of what I'm like. You could have any woman you want, but you only I want choose one. not to. I choose <laughs> to have not because you neither respect one women. nor none. You respect women. <laughs> I respect them too much to exactly. be anything other than alone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Blake's lost his voice, um, which is a problem obviously because um, playing a character in a TV show involves um, talking a little bit. You have to say some words. Yeah. Uh, so Blake, how's it? How's it going? How are you getting around it? What? I can't hear you, Blake. Sorry, um, that's it. I don't feel like we've ever properly addressed the issue of, of Blake, who's now been a mute for the last two days. <laughs> and he, yeah, it's, still, <laughs> it's still like a member of the gap. I'm not like, sure what the moment is, but I am sort of falling out with Blake to a certain extent. Because like, he's become, I'm worried that he's becoming alienated from the group. Just because he can't speak. Just because he can't speak. Nice. You're a good guy, Blake. Blake, you're a good guy. You're a bloody good guy, Blake, but I wish you'd talk a bit more. It's just sort of a lurking presence. Yeah. <laughs> it's a shadow. Just got back after a hard day's film. It's about 11pm. Uh, We've got to get up at um, 5.45 tomorrow morning. I'm just standing here watching Joey. It's, this is a low point in a way. <laughs> it is a low point. It would be a low point were it not for that it's many, it's many cousins throughout time. <laughs> <laughs> so in a way, it's just a valley in which we live. A valley in which we build a sort of shit hut where we now live and eat. Right, well, see you later now. I'll see you tomorrow morning, Joe. Okay, see you. Okay, I'll, um, I'll, be up. I'll be up in a minute. I'm just going to finish this, but um, can we just um, put my pyjamas out? Yeah. Then we'll fuck.